Recently, it's come to my attention that one of my tweets has been reposted to iFunny. I like reading comments. My comment sections are usually very entertaining to scroll through. When people laugh at me or make jokes about me or insult me or whatever, you know, I can take a joke. <laughs> There's a difference between reading your comments about me because you guys already know who I am. When I'm reading comments about me from other people who don't know who I am, usually they can be entertaining in a different kind of way. Never thought this day would come. The day where I make a video where I just read iFunny comments. I posted this tweet, uh, I'd say about a week ago probably. So let's see what the people of iFunny have to say about me. First comment coming in with 3,100 likes or smiles or whatever you do on iFunny. I think he has a boner. I can confirm that I don't have a boner in this picture. What actually happened was I stood my phone up on front camera and I placed it against my TV, which is just here. And I was on a three second timer. So as I was walking back, it took the picture as I was walking back. So I guess I was leaning back a little bit and it just looks like that. The shirt is photoshopped on. Yes, the shirt is photoshopped on. I, I I don't own that shirt, unfortunately. You know, I wish I did. I tried to look for it. One of you guys actually sent me the picture of this shirt on Instagram, and I reverse searched it. I tried to look for it, but I couldn't find anything. I was actually gonna buy it and wait for it to come in and then take the picture, but the photoshopping, I will admit, is not that good. I mean, it didn't take that long. I mean, it doesn't look bad from first glance, does it? If you don't pay too much attention to it, you probably think it's real. Okay, one, photo. Photoshop and two take it from a girl wear a fandom or a game shirt not a sash shirt because otherwise instant turn off take it from a girl you know I think I'm gonna have to pass on that advice I think if I actually did have a date this shirt would be perfectly fine to go in I think your chances at getting a second date are increased if you wear this shirt I appreciate your advice but I'm gonna have to ignore it this person commented one word incel. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not exactly sure what the word incel means. I've heard it and I've heard people call others incel, but I think it just means virgin, doesn't it? A person, usually male, who has a horrible personality and treats women like sexual objects and think his lack of a sex life comes from being ugly, when it's really just his blatant sexism and terrible attitude. Incels have little to no self-awareness. Even when they see other ugly men with girlfriends, they consider these men to be tricksters who have somehow beat the system and can get women despite being cursed with unattractiveness. In other words, they're respectful to women and women are attracted to their personalities, but incels can't comprehend such a phenomenon. Phenom enum. Phenom enon. You know what I'm trying to say. Right, um, oh, so, wait, is she really, wait, is this person really calling me an incel? Um, I mean, where did you get all that from, just from the picture? <laughs> In fact, maybe it has something to do with the shirt, because it's like, I pause my game to be here. I'm on a date with you, I pause my game to be here. I don't know, but I can confirm, guys, that I'm not an incel. The only part of the incel definition that I identify with is the can't get a girlfriend although desiring one. But everything else, no, that's not me. Same person, change my mind. Now, I've been compared to Pyrocynical a lot since I did my face reveal, and I personally don't see it. I mean, of course, there's a few similarities, but not enough for me to get compared to him all the time. That being said, though, I get compared to pretty much any person that's blonde. You don't know how many DMs I get from people where they'll just send a screenshot or a picture of someone, and the person can look nothing like me, but they'll have blonde hair or something, and they'll send the picture to me and be like, yo, is this you? I think I think this is just a case of that again. I think both his shirt and his boner is photoshopped. Are you being serious? You think the boner is for what? Why would you even suspect Photoshop on that part of the image? It's not like it looks like there's a whole cucumber stuffed in my pants or anything. This guy agrees because he replied to one of the comments and he said, must be a tiny boner. Exactly. One, he definitely has a boner. Two, you know what? There is no number two. He just has a boner. What? What are you saying? Definitely? What? What is that? Why are there lockers in your room? To practice getting out after being shoved into them at school? Oh, that's mean. He got me with that one. I'm gonna give you three reasons as to why you are the one that gets pushed into lockers at school and not me. Number one, you have an iFunny account. Number two, I don't go to school anymore because I finished it. Number three, everyone at school knows that I do kickboxing. I've been practicing kickboxing. I've been learning it for 10 years now. And when I was at school, everyone knew that I did it and everyone knew not to fuck with me. After this video, I'll actually go outside and record a quick video for you guys. Just something light, something real quick so you get an idea idea.
He looks 13 and 35 at the same time. I don't know if I should take this as a compliment or not. I mean, looking 13 when I'm 19 is, is that good or bad? I think I'd rather look slightly younger than older. Who wants to look older than what they actually are? Other than kids that are trying to do something that has an age limit, like trying to watch a movie at a cinema that has an age rating of 16. But other than that, like who wants to look older than they actually are? But then at the same time, they are saying that I look 35 as well. So I don't know. I'll take that as a half compliment, I guess. Was there an actual need to Photoshop the shirt on? Um, yes, because if I didn't Photoshop the shirt on, the picture would just be a picture of me shirtless and that wouldn't really go well with the meme that I was trying to make. So yeah, there was definitely a need to Photoshop the shirt on. I think I'm gonna be sick. Or at least that's what I think they're trying to say. Are you going to be sick at the picture of me? Or are you going to be sick at the idea of me going to a date with this shirt on? You look like this f in my English class who's always blurting out retarded shit. Uh, okay. Th he actually sounds like he got kind of angry there. Stuff another sock in those pants. So now this... <laughs> At first, people thought it was photoshopped, and now this guy thinks I stuffed a sock in my pants. Like, what do you think I've got under there? Do you think it's just nothing? This guy commented an Ed Sheeran meme. If somebody wore that while on a date with me, I'd immediately want to walk away and fucking kill myself. Yeah, that's p sort of the joke of this whole thing. Polosaurus Rex is very underrated. Wow. Uh I really do appreciate that. Definitely not photoshopped because he was too lazy to put a shirt on in the first place. I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to mean. Why he's standing like he shit his pants. Again, I was on a three second timer and the picture was taken as I was still sort of moving, if that makes sense. His name is Polosaurus Rex on YouTube. He does a bunch of dumb shit like this. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess that's one way to explain it. Halo guy. My kind of guy. Did no one notice that the shirt is photoshopped on? You know, I think you're the first person to notice that, actually. And that's it. That's all I'm going to look at. I think the, the post has like a thousand comments. Maybe before I end the video, I'll read a couple Reddit comments real quick. Yeah, another one of my tweets was posted to Reddit not long ago. It was in the Cringetopia subreddit, which is full of, you know, cringy stuff. What the poster didn't know is that I actually made this ironically. Yo, anyone else notice I look identical to Broly from Dragon Ball Z? And this was actually my goal of this post. I wanted it to get reposted to different social medias and platforms and stuff because I wanted to read the comments of people that thought I was being serious. That was in July, so it took a couple months, but it eventually got there. Dude's head is freakishly large though. No one gonna point that out. I think it's because I pushed all of my hair up to make it at least a little bit like Broly's and I was at the angle, I guess maybe it looked like my head was big. Is my head big? No, I don't think it is. Maybe not Broly, more like Krillin. Krillin's cool, so I'll accept that regardless of how many times he got killed. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video guys hope you all enjoyed definitely subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you all in my next video i've got a headache i've got a headache i've got a headache i've got